Hi, everyone. Thanks for jo joining us tonight at 6. I'm Mark Bradshaw. And I'm Erin Christie. City councilors were expected to talk about it in a meeting this afternoon. But News Channel 8's Kim Jackson found out that item was pulled from the agenda. Kim, what's next? Well, we know right now that the discussion we expected to happen today did not, but I did hear from two city councilors who tell me that the mural is safe for right now. The Black Lives Matter mural is not quite as bright as it used to be, but it is still here. I'm shocked that it, it, it wasn't pulled up around Juneteenth. Business owner Latoya Rose appreciates the message, and now that the city primary election is over, she's hoping that local leaders will allow it to stay. They didn't want to rock the boat, and I really believe that removing it would have made a lot of citizens, especially in North Tulsa, show up to vote. City councilors pulled the agenda item from a committee meeting that called for a discussion of a permitting process or other ways murals or street markings might be legal. I don't see where it hurts anything. No taxpayer dollar went to pay for it, so I don't see anything wrong with leaving it. Barber Willie Sells has been cutting hair on Greenwood since 1985, and he hopes city leaders will keep the mural. I hope they'll just forget about it and leave it alone because it's in our neighborhood, and all of the people that I see coming to see it is so happy about it. The message is located in the historic Black Wall Street District, and the discussion to keep it or remove it comes as the 100th anniversary of the race massacre approaches very quickly. Some are worried that the wait and debate over the message in the road is only hurting Tulsa's reputation. Then you do have corporations who say, hey, you guys aren't really ready for the expansion part and the stimulation that we have for your city. So I did hear from Kara Jo McKee as well as Vanessa Hall Harper, two city councilors, about the mural and not talking about it today. They say they're working on a more permanent solution. And so they tell me that right now the mural is safe here in Greenwood. Live near downtown Tulsa, Kim Jackson, Tulsa's Channel 8.